how to install Facebook pixels on Shopify. Good day folks, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you quickly and easily how you can connect your Shopify store to Facebook pixels and manage everything all in one place. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how you can install the Facebook app on your Shopify account, which we'll do right over here. And then we're going to jump over to our Meta Business Suite and we're going to integrate our Shopify store over there to the page that we are going to connect with. So the first thing we want to do is on the menu on the left hand side, we want to look for apps, which will be sort of to the middle of the page. And we want to click on apps right over here at the top. You will see that there are a few recommended apps. What we want to do here is we want to type in Facebook and this will now open the Shopify app store now right over here you're going to see a bunch of apps with the facebook term in it and what we're going to look for is facebook and instagram and you can see it's got the meta icon and you're going to tap on that the next thing you want to do is tap on install on the left hand side if you'd like to read more about the actual app there's a bunch of information over here as well as some reviews from some people that have already used the app on this page, it's just confirming that these two are going to be integrated. Up at the top, it says add sales channel, and we're going to tap on that. The next page you will see it says drive more sales with Advantage Plus catalog ads, and you're going to tap on get started. And over here, you can see that it says Facebook account, and it says Shopify uses your personal Facebook account to access your business accounts. And over here, we're going to go ahead and tap on connect account. The next step involves you just putting in your email address and your password to verify that you are the owner of the account on Facebook. And then you're going to get to this page and you're going to tap on confirm account. Now you will have to say allow to having Facebook share business assets with Shopify. And over here it now says if you have a catalog for your products, connect your business account that owns it. So over here you can tap on connect. The next option allows you to choose the preference of information and data that is being shared. So conservative, enhanced or maximum. You want to go ahead and use maximum. This will allow maximum data sharing so that you can get the most out of this integration. You're going to go ahead now and tap on save. You can always change this at a later stage over here just by tapping on change. And now we can go ahead and it says over here, connect a pixel to track customer behavior. And you can now create a meta pixel. So it says uh, create new. We're going to tap on that. And now we are going to tap on confirm. The last step you want to take now is tapping on I agree to the terms and conditions. And you want to tap on submit for review. Right, so now you're all set up on the Shopify integration side. And the next thing you want to do is jump into your Facebook page. So this is what my page looks like. And you're going to go over and look for your Meta Business Suite, which can be found on the left-hand side or in the menu on the right-hand side. Once you are in your Meta Business Suite, you're going to go ahead on the left-hand side. You have a toolbar and you are going to tap on Settings. Now on this page, you can see that there is another menu. And as you go down, you will get users. You will also get accounts and then you will get data sources. Once you open data sources, you will find pixels. And once you tap on pixels, you will see now that it opens up all of your pixels. On this main page, you can see now that it says open in events manager. And on this page over here, you can now have a look at all of the events in your Facebook pixels. So we're going to close this window. And on this page, we're going to go over to test events. So as you can see, this is now a way to see if your pixels are actually in order. So for now, I'm just going to tap on clear activity because I've just done this. And if you're clicking on test events, you're going to go down here and you can test browser events. Now over here, it says enter website URL. And this is your Shopify store URL. So we're going to go back here and you can see on this main page on the left hand side, you can go down to your sales channels and it says online store. 
and you can just click on the view your online store now from here you're going to take the url of your online store over here and you are going to copy that link you're going to go ahead and jump back into the Facebook page and over here where it says enter URL, you're going to enter that and you're going to tap on open website. And this will show you that it is actually working. Now a great thing to do is to go around the store and use a few items, maybe make a purchase or scroll around in one of the catalogs and come back now to the events manager and you will see that there are a bunch of processes here that are actually being collected. So the data you can see has been collected and you will know that this is now functioning correctly. There we go. That's a quick and easy way to integrate a Shopify store with Facebook Pixels. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to drop us a like. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and we will see you in another awesome video. Cheers for now, folks.